Welcome to Serverless Guru. My name is Josh. Today I'm going to show you all how to throw a React app up on Amazon Web Services in 15 minutes or less. I'm already going to assume that you already have the Create React App CLI installed on your computer as well as you've already set up, configured, and installed the Amazon Web Services CLI. So if you've already done that, let's get ready to go. I'm already in a folder structure I set up for this. So let's create our app. So just did the simple commands, creating the React app. Pretty easy. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. If not, if you're making any React apps without doing it this way, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, done. Great. Now what we can do is CD into our new folder. And we can open this in VS Code. Looks like React App. Let's let's give this a quick try. Great, your standard React app works, everything's good to go. Close that. Well, now what we need to do is actually go into our console at AWS. Sign in. Already signed in, so it's quick and easy. Navigate to S3. As you can see, I already have a couple buckets. We'll make a new bucket. Uh, bucket name has to be completely different than any other bucket name on AWS, so try to pick something unique. So we'll just call this serverless guru app. You can just click next, next, and create your bucket. We're gonna do everything manually from there. So we'll go into here. Uh, first and foremost, we'll set up static website hosting. Uh, it's just to show your website really simple and easy. We will use this website to host a bucket. Call it index.html. Hit save. Pretty easy. Go to our permissions. Uh, bucket policy and let's generate a new policy bucket. So the type of policy we're going to be generating is an S3 bucket policy. Uh, the principle is essentially who we're going to allow. Uh, we can do the asterisks here to allow everybody. Allow them Amazon S3 services. And what we're going to allow them to do is get object. So this is just going to allow everybody to access our bucket. Now we have to put in our Amazon arm. We call this bucket serverless guru app, right? Serverless guru app, OK. Add a statement, generate our policy. Just prints out some pretty JSON for you. Put it right here. Save. Amazon gives you a quick warning letting you know that everyone can access your bucket. That's fine. We understand that. It's only allowing people to get an object, not allowing them to read or write your buckets. Not too worried about it right now. But yep, that's actually all we need to do on the AWS side. So now 
we can just go ahead and deploy this. And it's up to you how you want to do it. Uh, you can do it directly through the CLI. I like to put a script, um, just a tag in here in our pack, package.json under our deploy. Just makes it easy. Uh, what we're going to do is AWS S3 sync build S3 colon. And then this is going to be the name of our serverless bucket serverless guru dash app make sure to put the comma there simple and what that's going to do is just every time we build and deploy with yarn it's going to shoot right up to s s3 for us so pretty easy next oh and finally all we need to do is deploy and build let this go Ooh, we had a failure what did I spell wrong oh I see what I did. I didn't do the right path. That should be right. Let's run the command again. Oh, looks like everything's uploading. Great. So now we can just come here. Let's go. These are some of my other ones. So we're just going to change this to app. And boom. There we have it. We have a serverless guru S3 bucket. And in less than five minutes, we were able to throw up our React app. Great. Well, I appreciate you guys coming today for this. I hope to do some more in-depth tutorials. I'm just getting started learning AWS. I'm taking my certified developer associate exam here in the next month. And I'm trying to just expand my knowledge in this. And as I uh, learn new cool things, I plan to make videos about them. Keep checking with serverlessguru.com and you can watch them there.